So we start in the front. This little stairway was refitted so that it fit better. A couple of these uh, patayas were put in. One of them fell over and we had to split it in two. There's a lot of infill right here. Uh, took some plants out of this area. This is an IBC that holds 250 gallons of water, but it's actually just behind some rustic old fences that I made panels from. Over here, there is a, an outdoor sink trench that goes from the other side of the fence to this point of disintegration into the wall. earth. This foundation is for the outdoor kitchen. There is plumbing for in and out. Trench is dug here to the supply line. There. There is a couple of uh, concrete posts with the uh, accompanying, if you can see, wyverns. Two wyverns, two posts. Posts are level. This is where I started getting fun. This uh, three-tiered stepway goes to a custom-made gate. Over here there's more IBCs hidden behind a wattle fence, which is partially done. Really, you have to wait for the earth to make you more vines before you can finish the wattle. Over here is a four or five terrace garden that's just been planted for the winter with a bunch of different brassicas. This was put in today, made out of a lot of CNC to punched metal that I was acquiring. All this is elm and pine, and ash, and avocado, and cypress. Over here we got another wattle fence. This was the beginning of it all, sort of, when it started to take off with these uh, what is it, like 100 pounds for each one of these slabs? Rolled in. There's another garden going over here. Routing the waters to a tree line back here. Over there is a 2,500 gallon water tank that is surrounded with a runda, which is an invasive waterway cane. We could get millions of them for free. Just makes nice trellising. Kind of mesmerizing. Another kind of wattle thicket fence. Over here's the transplants. A lot of blackberries have been moved in. There's chickens in a greenhouse, which I didn't really have much to do with. Over here I did make a chicken dropperage that can open to let them out. I made this thing. It's really meant for a pump to be trickling all day long, or with the solar power. Put the water in there. It's made with uh, coca core and some perlite. So that hopefully it doesn't clog. And then just output to input. Vines can do a number to sculptures. Yeah, 
yeah, that's, that's most of it. You can just check out the uh, view from the walk up. And I also made this one. There's another terrace over here. This fence was constructed from scratch. We still have a pile of some of the old pieces of wood. Here's those IBCs. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six times 250. It's about 1,500 plus 2,500. So that's 4,000 gallons of uh, water storage on this property. Pretty hefty. Leftovers. This terrace isn't plumbed yet. It has all of its uh, irrigation, but the output's not flowing yet. That's the difference between an old fence and new fence. Mulberries, lots of new trees. Gotta get a persimmon tree for this area. Wild fences are fun to make. Natural resources. These are sort of water spheres that slowly irrigate with bisque, porous uh, ceramic release of water, trickle capillary effect. The roots only take water when they need water. Yeah, a couple months work. Still got to do some bigger sculptures. Architectural domes to enclose this upper area. That's what the project looks like so far. There's also the greenhouse. Pat experiments with aquaponics in here. She doesn't have any fish much really, but she's got a lot of duckweed and Thai basil. And poor uh, papaya trees that didn't make it. Shrivel, shrivel, shrivel. <laughs>